Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this text dropping effect inside Microsoft Word to give your document a little bit of like the magazine feel. So let's get started. I will start a blank new document in Microsoft Word. And the first things first, we need some image. So I will jump into Excel's website. And this one is, this one image is fine. And it's always better if your image has a, like a plain color background like this one. It doesn't have to be this way, but we will save a lot of time if we select some image which has like, you know, solid background. It's separated from the background. So what I will do is I will right click and select up image in my clipboard and jump Back to Microsoft Word and just paste it hitting the Control V on my keyboard. Now we need some kind of text, so what I will do is I will just jump into some random lorem ipsum generator which generates me like a placeholder text. I will select copy again, jump back to Microsoft Word and just paste it and it pasted it also with the formatting. So what I will do is I will hover over with my mouse over the text and click on this Control button and select I only want to keep text, not the formatting, just like that. I don't need, I don't like actually the red overlay, so I will select everything, Control A, select the English, and just turn on, sorry, to turn off the spell checking and grammar. And if that doesn't help, what I usually do is I will just select some, you know, some language which for which I don't have grammar checking, like maybe this first one should be fine, and don't show me this again. I will get rid of those extra spaces in between the paragraphs because I don't really need those, and we can jump, we can, we can continue with actually setting the text dropping. So for the actual text dropping, we need two images. So one image will be behind the text and that will be just like the background and there will be a separate image which will be all, all only used for the text dropping. So let's say that this will be the background. So I'll right click, select wrap text and select behind the text like so. Now this one is behind the text. Then I will copy paste it, control C, control V or I can use also in the home ribbon, select, you know, copy and paste. And we need to remove the background. So I will open the picture format tab or ribbon and select remove background. Click this one and you will see that it kind of looks fine except for this bottom part of the image. So I will select mark areas to keep and just draw over the areas which I want to keep, like draw over this bottom part of the hand and it should just be fine. Then I will select keep changes and now I have two images. If I select the selection pane, so home select selection pane, I have the background image and I have the foreground image. And the foreground image is already like uh, without the background. So Word will be smart enough to know that if I want to select the text dropping, it will only wrap it around the actual image, not around the background. So let's try it. I'll right click this image and select wrap text and select either tight or through. The difference is that for the through, if there are any holes in our text, it will also go into the holes, but we don't have any holes. So tight is the same as a fruit in this case. So select tight. And you can see that we already have this nice looking dropping. The problem is I just cannot move my image like over the page or over the, like you can see over the boundaries of the page. So to fix this, I will right click, select size and position. And in the position, I will unclick this move object with text. So now I will be able to just move my image freely. Of course, I want to select everything, control A and change the justification from the left aligned to the full justify control J like so. And the last thing is to select the background image, which is this one, show it and make sure that the foreground image is somehow positioned on the right spot. So it's matching the position of the background image like so. Now we can select both images at the same time. So I click first one, then hold the control key on my keyboard and select the second one in the selection pane. And what I would like to do is I would like to make this much bigger so it covers the entire page like so, like this one. And then we can just move it around freely until we will see what works the best on board, what looks the best with the text. There is only one downside of the solution and it is, uh, you know, the foreground image still is like the full screen. So if I want to make any changes to the text, I cannot simply click the text and edit it. I would have to just click in here and then move my text cursor using the arrow keys or I have to hide the foreground image, then make changes to the text and then show the image, which is not very convenient. So one way to fix it is to make this image a little bit smaller. So let me hide the background image for now, only show the foreground one, right click and select format picture, which will show me the format picture. Tap in here, jump into the picture and in the cropping, let's change the width from, it looks like almost nine inches to maybe like three and a half inches, should be fine. Now you can see it a little bit, it's a little bit moved to the right side. So we have to set the offset X to be zero inches and you can see it, you know, kind of fits into this smaller shape. So again, we have to reposition the images to be on the same spot but now you can see you know, it, it doesn't snap now because it's a little bit smaller than the background. But now you can see that I can click outside, I can click it here or I can click on the left side, click on the left side and make changes to the text while the text dropping is still active, which is much easier to work with. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create this nice looking text dropping effect inside Microsoft Word in almost no time to spice up your document. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.